Hey everyone, welcome to Classic Dye Products tutorial for using our aerosol color kits. This tutorial will show how to properly recolor a vinyl or leather surface with our water-based aerosol colors. Begin prepping the area by covering surfaces you do not wish to recolor. Here's an example of masking off along a seam on one side of the area being worked on. If the tape is having any difficulty adhering to the surface, Cleaning will be required first to remove any conditioners, oils, or other impurities. Once the tape is adhering properly, continue covering the remaining area using items such as paper towels, drop cloths, old bath towels, or other shields. Note that this example masking will be removed for the remainder of the tutorial as a blending technique will be used during spraying of the color coat. Prep the surface by pouring some of the TriClean Prep Cleaner onto a clean cloth, sponge, or paper towel and apply generously to the surface in need of recoloring to remove any contaminants such as dirts, oils, and conditioners. Be sure to pay special attention to thoroughly clean seams, creases, folds, or other recesses as these areas will typically harbor contaminants that can lead to adhesion failure of the new color coat. For a more thorough cleaning, use a stiff bristle brush in conjunction with the TriClean. Again, pay special attention to seams and other recessed areas. Apply one final application of TriClean over the entire area. This will remove any contaminants that were brought to the surface while scrubbing or sanding. Once the surface is dry from the prep stage, it is time to begin adding color. Shake the can well for 5-10 to 10 seconds and then apply a medium coat of color to the surface and rub in with your hand or a sponge. The first coat needs to be rubbed into the surface with a circular motion to fully penetrate all recessed areas in the grain taking special care to coat hard to reach areas. Disposable gloves should be worn or a sponge can be used. Allow to dry before applying the next coat. Spray additional light coats across the area using long steady strokes. Be sure to overlap each stroke for a uniform finish. A hair dryer or heat gun can be used to speed the drying time if needed. For larger areas, alternate the direction that each coat is being sprayed from. For instance, up and down strokes on the first coat, then side to side strokes for the second coat. Always allowing each coat to dry before starting the next coat. Two or more coats will likely be needed, but applying too many coats can become detrimental as it begins to hide the natural grain in the leather or vinyl. The surface can be sat on once it is dry to the touch, but optimum time for complete curing is about 8 hours, after which leather conditioners may be applied. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please visit our website at classicdyeproducts.com for a printable manual of how to apply our dyes and to order your color kit.